So it all starts here in a state of chaos. Foods, bits and bobs, clothes, get pots and pans sorted. And um, yeah, hopefully not forget anything. Out of the chaos slowly emerges a sense of order, hopefully. Budget cockpit cover, cover, cockpit cover. An old spray deck here with the newer light one on top. Together they do the job. Oh, it's handy for pushing yourself off. Made of uh, made of hazel wood. Hazel has a special affinity with water, used as dowsing sticks. It's good hardwood. I've had these sticks for oh, 15 years. It's still good. Use them every time. So, we're off. Kayak is the North Shore Atlantic RM and the paddle is the Werner Schuna adjustable carbon shaft. If you're a kinky um, paddle shaft myself, pardon the expression. Coming around the corner here, you can hear the first sound of the swell and the reefs out there. To me, it's the sound of freedom and adventure, beauty and truth, even spirit and love, and joy and peace. It's beautiful. Sound of the swell and swishing over the reef. It's uh, it's freedom. It's wildness. That's what it is. It's wildness. Untamed wildness.
true magic of sea kayaking is it takes you into untamed wildness and um, there's very few ways to do that now the sea is wild, the swell is wild the wind and waves, the reefs, the rocks, the coves Light swell this morning. And a light breeze from the sun. now but we're in sheltered waters
singing sounds of our niche. That's certainly a very nice paddle that. The sun's out. Professional landing. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful, eh? Zadjo Hotel. And it's uh, really quick to put up. And, um, Nice and spacious inside. Big porches. So that's me uh, set up here inside. And, uh, sit back, listen to the swell washing on to the beach. Eat some budgie food. Makes a nice view as well. The morning is not so good. Water look kind of lumpy. All of it, the sea running out there. Yeah. Anyway. Not going anywhere in the rain. No. Rain is just gone off, and we've got the breeze kicking in, so packed up, get out of here, get everything organised, get everything. Everything goes into a pre a preordained bag uh, in the tent, and. Then that just goes straight into the kayak. Apart from a bag of random items, which mostly fits into the day hatch. Mm. So it's nice. 
organized um, way to uh, get organized. Morning is luxury. Um, rain's off. Just a nice little breeze, no midges. So for once, nice relaxed. Packing up. Don't know what the wind's going to do exactly, but shouldn't be more than three or four. South to southwest. That could bring a sea in later. So it's random items, random items up the pointy ends and then de hatch. And uh, pre packed dry bags, they just go straight in. Yeah. Then there's not much bathing around. One thing I don't like about low volume boats is um, they don't make them long enough. I mean, I would like a low volume boat which is the same length as um, a regular boat. Because uh, you, you lose a lot of storage space. You know, your day hatch is half the size. You're losing all the space out the middle of your boat. It's North Shore Atlantic? Nah, it's too small. Same with the North Shore yeah, glass version. It's a whole one foot shorter than the standard volume. The low volume version is one foot shorter. It's too small. Too small, no good. Just take a little water along. Not sure where I'll be stopping next. the smells reaching. Oh, that looks very good. good. Okay. Sun. Looks like there's rain coming. Check the skeg's working, skeg's working. Uh, it's going to rain. Hopefully not too much. There's quite a few kayakers over there. One, two, three, four, six. six. That's been camping in there.
a late launch for me today, nine, half nine, it's late. But sometimes it's nice to take your time. And there's nothing pressing, no long journey ahead, no bad weather forecast. So you never know. I always like this corner, get lovely, off the lovely swell coming in, bouncing out. But nothing too major. back is over that direction it doesn't look very attractive at the moment I'll just sniff around down this way for a while first I don't need to get back today tomorrow morning will do I'll see what happens it's been a while since I paddled down this coast but uh, of our niche I might do that uh, a bit in the way. I'm a great believer in the weather gods. Always listen to the wind, the sun, everything, listen to everything. Listen to what they're telling me. Sometimes a gust of wind can tell you not to go a certain way. Sometimes a shaft of sunlight can beckon you on, yes, this is the way to go. And yeah, these things are real, they really work. If you get in tune, if you're listening, respectfully, yeah, then nature will help you. It's really getting horrible, man. Drizzle sweeping in, wind's getting up. Twites flipping around the trees there. Highland sparrow.
but no, just relax, enjoy it. Let the waves wash under you. Let your boat bob and top. Relax. And then you'll be confident. And you'll enjoy it. The sun will be out soon. Still gets a bit of water in, even with um, double duck spray decks for the room. Maybe nothing works perfectly. Not much. So far, all hatches are dry. The rear hatch was leaking a wee bit for a time. It's bone dry. It's bone dry. So, so far, all good there.
wanted to see what it was like out there. Lumpy enough. But it's a beautiful evening, so why not stay the night? Go back tomorrow. Turned out a lovely afternoon. The old shower quite rough later on. And now it's lovely to lie back here and listen to the swell swishing over the rocks out there. Ten past six in the morning. Just starting to get light out there. Not a lot of light. Wind's getting up. There's bad weather coming in. Well, it should be okay to get back. It's just around the corner. Kind of. So, get away at first light. Get organised. Oatmeal for breakfast. Going a few hours. <laughs> 